Welcome to uh, WRC 90, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Brett Talitzer, who is the head of Spectrum for GSMA. Brett, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, let's talk a little bit about GSMA, where GSMA's presence here at, uh, at WRC 19. What are the uh, topics that uh, particular interest to you now? WRC 19 is a big conference for us because this is a conference where we're looking to identify spectrum that is really going to enable the full promise of 5G. Um, a 5G system uh, for mobile systems requires spectrum in the low bands to give good coverage, um, in the mid bands to give a mix of coverage and also capacity to provide services. But in these high bands that we're talking about in this conference, it's all about the ultra high speed, ultra low latency services. So that's going to mean really fast consumer broadband. It's also going to mean industrial applications. So it's going to impact healthcare, uh, education, manufacturing. So it's going to be kind of a whole new host of services. So we're really excited to bring that into uh, into reality through this conference. Now, not only is GSMA there in the in the uh, in all of the meetings in all the sessions, but you also got a, an exhibition stand here as well in the exhibition area here. I wanted to find out what are some of the conversations that you've been having on that stand. Well, it's uh, we offer coffee in the stand, and I find that the coffee breaks are the time to talk to people. Um, so we we come together and we're talking about a whole host of issues. Uh, we're showcasing the promise of 5G. We're also showing how the mobile industry is committed to, to this little guide, the UN Sustainable Development Goals, um, and talking a little bit about the ways that we're, as an industry, are supporting those goals and moving forward in a positive way. So 5G is going to be the golden child? Well, it, every evolution of, of mobile technology has offered something new. So this is going to be an exciting one, though, because I think this is going to impact consumers. But broader than that, it's also going to bring us some exciting new uh, opportunities. And in terms of this, this particular conference, as we were talking a little bit before we started here, about the fact of how, how long it is and, uh, and how... Uh, in essence, this takes time to uh, make the decisions that will affect us now and also in, in, in several years to come. But I just wanted to, to ask you this general feeling of consensus. Do you think that, uh, that that's, uh, that's something which uh, is going to last? Is, is it something which is future proof? Well, you know, the ITU does an amazing job of bringing people together. Um, it's not just the four weeks of this conference, but really the four years preceding it, where uh, regional groups work to try to find consensus, to try to identify what works best for that region, and then come together here to make decisions that are going to impact us for years to come. You know, I think we're going to have another WRC in 2023 because as technology changes, we have to look back at, uh, you know, decisions we've made in the past since the 1970s and, and reevaluate and then try to adapt uh, regulation to meet the needs of technology to serve the needs of people. And what about uh, the, um, the spectrum itself? There's a lot of demand for a very finite resource. How can one possibly overcome that? Well, it's, it's by looking carefully at the, the needs um, of the various sectors um, and finding ways to coexist. So this is all about sharing. Um, and it's really important to look that when you're looking to get into a new band, uh, that you find ways to protect the existing services that are there. Um, or when someone else is looking to get into a band that's, that, that you're in or adjacent to, uh, that your services are protected. And it, it often involves compromise. And that's one of the reasons this conference takes four weeks to complete. At the end of this conference, what do you hope the outcome will be? I hope that we have identified enough spectrum to make 5G be as, uh, as broad and as exciting as it possibly can be. We are looking for identifications in the millimeter waves to really make the power of 5G be something that we can all see in the near term. And finally, looking forward to the, to the future, are you optimistic for mobile connectivity? I mean, not just in the developed world, but also the developing countries? Absolutely. So mobile connects over 5 billion people in the world today. Um, and 5G is not just going to be something for the developed markets. It's also going to be something for the developing world. So we're hoping that we can put in place the, the natural resources that we need to make that a reality for everybody around the globe. 
Brett Tanner, so thank you very much for joining us in the studio, and hopefully we'll catch up again in the near future. Thanks, it was my pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you.